All right guys, another great day on the Sunfish budget build. The massive 4,000 square foot shipping container home. We've got performance foam out today. They are touching up some stuff on the ceiling, but kind of noisy, I know, sorry. So I'm just gonna yell at you. And we got the guys from Rock Solid here today. Yeah, buddy. You guys ready to kick some butt or what? Yes, sir. Ready to show this turd who's boss? <laughs> and if you're wondering why we are spray foaming our container from the outside and not the inside, stay tuned a little bit later in this episode. We're going to give a breakdown of costs and explain why are we spray foaming this thing from the exterior and not the interior. So we got a little issue. Downstairs we have a, my, I gotta figure out something to get it out. But my daughter stuck a baseball. You want to write on this? <laughs> no, right on. I see it. I'm see gonna it. get a shot back. Suck it up. Here we got our just purchased our staircase here for the house. That's why we put the laundry on the second level so that Jana doesn't have to walk up and down the ladder with our clothes baskets. What am I talking about? I'm the one that does the laundry around here. And if I know what's good for me, I do the dishes afterwards. We want to see what happens when we rob a pumpkin for 50 feet. We're going to give it a whirl. We still want a mom's pumpkin. Don't tell it. Ha ha. It's just pretty high up there, it's hard to get it all in one shot. Oh yeah, smashed her good. All in pieces. The chickens will love it. And then you got the guys from Rock Solid Plumbing, Jesse, Jarrett, and Cody. Man, you guys, it pays to have professionals on on your build when you're having someone help you with something these guys have totally knocked this out of the park with our rough in um, everything looks absolutely perfect and just the fact that they don't sit there and complain they just work and get the job done i think it was this day when jared stabbed himself with a phillips screw bit right through one of his fingers and the guy just kept working and plugging away so can't thank you guys enough uh, you guys have done a bang out job and look forward to seeing you some more on this build as you can see here the guys are working in between the first and second level containers and we have a 16 to 20 inch deep crawl space there uh, to be able to put plumbing or wiring or HVAC that needs to go through there and it having this crawl space because of the structural steel um, has really made things work out well. Then we move on to cutting holes in the containers. I don't know what bits they are but there are some bits that are made for cutting through metal and then there's the ones that are made for cutting through wood. And that's the ones that I had was the ones for cutting through wood. And let me tell you, you burn those suckers up really fast. And so that ends up getting expensive. So it pays to get the right kind of bit to get through these shipping containers, this core 10 steel that they're made out of. Um, 
what I ended up doing was I ended up taking the plasma cutter and blasting holes through the roof of these containers for the guys after they had left so that when they came back the next day they the holes were in the containers for them they didn't have to do any more drilling or cutting with their sawzall blades a couple of questions here that I know that people are going to ask and that's number one why are we spray foaming the outside of our house and that is because of thermal bridging we do not want cold or hot leaching through that metal coming to the metal that's visible on the inside of the house we are building in a cold climate where it's below zero more than a month at a time in the winter we want an efficient house quite frankly we really like the looks of the corrugated steel on the inside of the house that is going to be a lot of our finished surfaces is going to be this corrugated steel we chose to see it on the inside and not the outside now as far as cost of this spray foam before we started this build we had a quote for twenty thousand dollars to do this 4300 square foot house that was i think a very good deal now fast forward to before we started building this place just before we started building this place texas froze over where they make this product for the spray foam companies this started a vicious cycle of prices going up on spray foam so the material that I got quoted at the beginning was let's say nine thousand dollars and by the time I purchased the foam it had gone up to almost fifteen thousand dollars the prices were going up material was getting harder to get companies were busy we ended up paying all said and done with everything we end up paying forty thousand dollars for the material and to have the labor done still think that was an incredibly good deal just for the simple fact that this is a 4300 square foot shipping container home and there is a lot of surface to cover all of our walls are three plus inches thick all of our ceilings are five plus inches thick and the one spot where the master bedroom is cantilevered the floor that is a minimum of four inches thick so we have got ample amounts of spray foam in this place and looking forward to seeing what our heating and cooling bills are going to be break right now if you're not in Minnesota that is in October the first big break for the kids so it's Thursday Friday and always falls on Mr. Logan's birthday Thank you. he I will be 10 in two step. days and this poor boy is sick they are testing him for strep no COVID dog he's got his own bed because he is sleeping in mom and dad's luxurious camper space here as you can see yeah I can't Don't wait to show my <laughs> Don't show your hair, your hair. And here's Miss hey. Lola. Yeah, yeah. I hey. have twenty cents. And yep, I'll she's got her little register right here. This is what camper life looks like when we're yeah. playing in a lazy fall day here. Yeah. As and we're well, enjoying being this at is home. The heater that 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 I sit under is so warm. On oh yes, we try to use this well, so we're not using up a lot of our propane. So everyone likes to sit well, on the floor. Well, like our nice hardwood floors still have well, not replaced from the poo-poo water 